Memphis police cruiser swarming outside Regional 1. As sirens blare through southwest Memphis, schools go on lockdown. A homeowner's camera catches officers chasing down possible suspects. A big police presence at three different scenes coming after one of their own was shot in the middle of the day. MPD also says while another officer was trying to assist, they were involved in a crash with a civilian leading to this mangled mess. One of the um, individuals, or it may have been several individuals, fired upon one of our officer's vehicles as he was leaving the area. Uh, those individuals also chased the officer's vehicle as well, and um, as a result, there was a crash that took place. Chief C.J. Davis says so far three people have been detained. She says the officer shot was in the area of Horn Lake Road on Horn Lake Cove working an auto theft detail when he spotted a stolen silver Infinity QX40. Neighbors too shaken to talk on camera tell us they heard multiple rounds. I pull up to the yard and then it said boom, 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 boom. And I hit the ground. And uh, after that, I saw police, police coming from this way, everywhere. The officer shot has been released from the hospital. However, the officer in the crash remains there in stable condition. We're told the 73-year-old civilian injured is critical. We are very concerned also about any citizen that uh, gets injured as a result of the work that we have to do. A dramatic end that has the city and the homeowner where the officer crashed on edge. I was in the kitchen and I heard a loud boom. I'm just thankful that nobody got killed. Cars can be replaced, but human lives can't. Again, three people have been detained. Memphis police have yet to release if any charges have been filed. Now reporting live in the medical district, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3.